Lombardi as a junior. Lombardi Trophy winner as a junior and was an Outland Trophy finalist also. So first down off the penalty. Cunningham rolls out. He's chased by Ahanatu and is brought down. Cheating Ahanatu with excellent pressure. Sap right there as well. Sap wasn't fooled at all. Watch this. I the rod just before the two-minute warning. Sap by Warren Sapp, the number one pick, picked up in Atlanta first down. George sacked again. Sacked by Sapp. This time at their own 36. Far to throw right away. Hit hard and sacked. Warren Sapp, who had an active first half, gets his first sack of the season. Rick Meyer and the Seahawks ready to go on offense. Meyer play fakes, gets some time, takes a look. Now he takes off, and Meyer is sacked inside the 35-yard line. A sack for Warren Sapp. The first down for Seattle, down by three with two minutes to play. Meyer stands in. Here's a sack by Warren Sapp. Back at the 50-yard line. Coming from the blind side, Warren Sapp. The pick. Letting the pick confusing on third down pressure and they got him second sack of the day on Scott Mitchell Warren Sapp his fourth of the season there's Warren Sapp right here watch him one on one throw the guy up great quickness okay crawling digging fighting whatever he can do to get to Warren Moon Tampa Bay recovers. Chidi Ahanatu again with the big hit. And he recovered it. Warren Sapp got the first hit on him. Ahanatu recovered. How about Warren Sapp? Now that's what I'm talking about, a big play. You know, what is there to lose? Well, play of the drive, as you saw. Lone step back is Zellers. And Everett rolling out. Will he keep it? He is. Dodge, and he stopped short of the goal line. Chidi Ahanatu coming up with a big hit right at the goal line. It will set up four. Going into the season, what a career he's had. On second down, Johnson rolling and brought down from behind by Sapp, his seventh sack. And that should just about do it for the half. Jimmy Graham, good for seven, now third and two. Johnson's first option isn't there, and Brad Johnson is sacked by Warren Sapp again. His second of the day and his eighth of the year. Some five minutes left to play here in Tampa. 34 to 7. Buccaneers. And Matthews will keep it. Cut from behind by Big Warren Sapp. That's a hurricane getting the game. At that. With Jones in motion. It's Young being chased by Sapp and brought down. Could be injured too. Quarterback could be injured, Kevin. Warren Sapp the sack. Let him in sacks last year, and Steve Young, second down and 11. From 8 of 8, triple sack on the play. The third sack recorded by Tampa Bay. Here they come again. There goes Sapp after Young. Sack number six for Tampa Bay. Let me tell you, this guy, if he's playing for me, I'd let him celebrate. Second down for Detroit. Warren Sapp coming in, bumble. And the ball is still loose. Who has it under the pile? Detroit picks it up, but Warren Sapp came in there almost scot free and not. We talked about John Lynch. This guy's the same thing. Grant under pressure, and he is sacked again. <laughs> pressure on Scott Mitchell and Warren Sapp. No one picked him up. The flag is down. Play of the drive on third down and five. Brad Johnson under pressure and down he goes. And that's Warren Sapp with the sack. Well, in fact, he's going out of motion right now, out of the running game. Second down, seven, and Holcomb has to eat the football at the 11 yard line. One of the places to Curtis Martin. It's been a struggle today. Ball is loose. It's a fumble. Warren Sapp. We got him. Warren Sapp. Eight and a half sacks on the season. Meyer hit from behind and it's picked off. Warren Sapp. Oh, he wants to score bad. <laughs> Three or four.
four wide receiver. Oh, back to throw it. Pump fake, and he's from behind by Warren Sapp. And the Packers get it back. Boy, that's the second one of those plays that Sapp made. Look at Sapp is still talking there to Favre. Favre wants to go after Sapp. Hold him back. Running the ball. Favre back to throw. Sapp chases. Sapp has him. Warren Sapp broke loose. Warren Sapp has kind of raised some havoc today. Our fake to Levins. Chased by Warren Sapp. And Sapp waits for Culpepper to get there. Warren, <laughs> they had a I know what Sapp was saying. Yeah. He has the officials are saying, get back <laughs> in your side. Against Brooks. And a play fake. And Brett Favre is going to go down, and it's going to be Warren Sapp. And last year, Sapp and Favre had a drawing exchange. They, they were really going again. at each other, and they're picking up where they left off briefly. Well, Sapp Michael Blair has come in the game, a running back. And Brett Favre goes down by Warren Sapp getting... Burline play action. Under pressure from Sapp. Warren Sapp gets his second sack of the game. McNair set. Teams played in week four. Third down and five, and Warren Sapp comes in virtually untouched and sacks Charlie Batch at tight end. Moreno. Big rush by Sapp. The ball is loose. And they dive for it. The Bucks think they have it. The big hit by Warren Sapp. And the officials say the Bucks have it. The fumble recovery by Tampa Bay. Down at eight from the 37-yard line. And Favre loses the ball. It's going to be ruled a fumble as Warren Sapp extracts the ball. And it is covered by Jeff Dellenbach. Something out of nothing. He's forcing Sam. He's really pressing. Giants have to get to the 20, but they won't. Warren you talk Sapp. about pressing. That man has been pressing since this game started. Strong move. Five defensive backs for the Bucks. Peterson on third down. Being rushed down, he goes. Warren Sapp gets there. Hey, hey, look who's on top of it. Sapp. Culpepper. The two of those guys. Watson in motion. McDab under pressure. And down he goes. The fourth sack of the game for the Bucks. Warren Sapp has been in on three of them. This game. They'll be minus again because of the interceptions. McDad, Sapp all over him. Third sack, third full sack for Warren Sapp. Three and a half in the game. And boy, he is doing the victory dance. Well, puts it in Tampa Bay territory and fires the throw. Under pressure. This time they got him back at the 48-yard line. Warren Sapp, and he'll have a few things to say. Five under pressure, Warren Sapp from the backside. His second sack of the night, and look at the respect <laughs> that Favre and Warren Sapp have for each other. Well, what Empty backfield. They're going to need that blocker. Richardson drives out the first down, so it's first and ten. Ball knocked away, and it's loose and recovered by Warren Sapp and the Buccaneers. Under pressure situations to get him in position to kick those field goals. Warren Sapp with the sack. <laughs> first time he called his name all day. <laughs> uh, second tackle of the day for Sapp. First down. Here's Kitna. And Kitna goes down. That's a fumble. It looked Warren like Sapp, Sapp got it. It's recovered. You're right. Warren Sapp made the sack and recovered the fumble for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> he was hunting. Yep. And Remember he told him. Second and ten. Perot back to throw. Chased and fumbled. And finally gets it back himself. One. They're about the same time. Here's Perot back to throw it. And here comes the rush. And that's Sapp. And Carl Pepper, the two tackles who get there. They need to get to the Buccaneer 49 the first. 
in the grass, brought down by Warren Sapp. Third down and two. And Brad Johnson goes down. He couldn't find a receiver. And Warren Sapp on the big sack knocks the Redskins out of field goal range. But so back, he's going to be sacked. Pressure coming, and Warren Sapp gets him and hangs on this time. Warren Sapp said, you know, in the first quarter, I like to beat the crud out of the man across from me. <laughs> Takes a snap, pressure on. They got him. And they sacked him. Got him. Warren Sapp. That quarterback move. They play the Bears next week in Chicago. Cade McNown trying to run out of trouble and can't do it as Warren Sapp gets him from behind back at the 20. Bats. Sack. Warren by Warren Sapp. Here comes the dance. Here comes something. He's just calling off the top of his head. Absorbing it by osmosis here on third and nine. Bats in trouble. Flag is down. Batch is down. Sacked by Warren Sapp. And everything. And then they got to go to Washington and Minnesota. Very well. Warren Sapp sacks Charlie Batch again. First and ten. Pressure on Brad Johnson. That took him out of field goal range. And they're going to have to yard line. Third down and ten. Blitz. Look out. Down he goes. Big sack back at the 16. And it's Warren Sapp. Under pressure, Warren Sapp has back. Under pressure, Sapp. Warren Sapp on the bottom of the pile. His second sack. Give him nine and a half for the season. Carter was the man in motion. Ball is loose. The ball is loose. Not backwards. The Buccaneers have it. Recovered by Marcus Jones. That's the thing. Warren Sapp comes up with a big play. Pressure on far. Down he goes. First sack. Warren Sapp. Third and seven. Johnson. There's the sack. And that one ties the Tampa Bay franchise record. And Warren Sapp and Marcus Jones fight over the sack. Wasting a lot of time. They can't afford to complete a pass in the field of play. Down he goes. And he's down. No fumble. No fumble. And Warren But Sapp. there's only 10 seconds left on the clock. To the 43. Three receivers set to the left. Warner looks the other way. Now to the left and takes the sack. And there is Warren Sapp. Number nine. Third down and 10. Warner. Oh! Big time sack. Oh. And Warren Sapp, who I'm sure had a few things to say. And Favre is sacked on this one. Warren Sapp, 16 and a half sacks on the year now for Warren. And those are two old buddies there. They get after it yearly. One receiver's in from the 20 yard line. McNair under siege and gets rid of it as he is about to go down. And they're going to rule it. And let's see if Warren Sapp came in. And Where it was ruled in the grass. In the grass. I haven't heard that term of a receiver. Batch. Stepped up in the pocket, but can't get away. Boy, he's wrapped up for the sack. He's, he's one-tenth of the way there. <laughs> On third and 16, Batch scrambling. Hey. Who said he's one-tenth of the way there? There's there another go. sack. 19. Sapp. <laughs> Rams marching downfield, down by four, but then all of a sudden, here comes Warren Sapp with his fourth sack of the season. There are the figures. And he puts the ball on the ground again. And it was stripped by Warren Sapp and recovered, I think, by Marcus Jones. Eddie Boo Williams is in. Brooks on third and five, down he goes. Warren Sapp and Booger McFarland combine on the sack. From the 18-yard line. Burback under pressure. Down he goes. Anthony McFarland and Warren Sapp. This a third down and eight. Sapp. Sapp's got it. From the block. Tonight, 
Warner moved to the top of that very elite list. And then he moves to the bottom of Warren Sapp's list at the 40-yard line. The field and get a poor ranking because McKinley Smith in trouble, and he is hauled down by Warren Sapp, Sapp's third sack of the season. And he ranks. And the offense hasn't scored today. The defense scored. Warren Sapp with the sack, knocked the ball loose, and the fumble recovered by the Bucks. 112 left in the half. Buccaneers. collapses and down goes Couch. They pull back on third and five, and McNabb is going to go down back toward the 20 yard line. Ellis Wims. And, and through for a hundred more, and he's going to throw on first down in the pocket, and he is sacked at the one yard line. Warren Sapp. Bucks show blitz and Garcia falls down, dropping back. Uh, it was crisp for right. Second down and nine. Gannon under pressure. Look out from behind. Sack. Ball loose. Raiders recover at the 31 yard line, but a huge play. Mo Collins winds up with the football. Third down and 14 back on the Redskins 48, and Ramsey is going to go down again. His head coach. Second and four, Rob Johnson in relief of Patrick Ramsey goes down. And it's Warren Sapp, and I think... An Indianapolis game on Monday night, delayed by 21 with just over five minutes remaining as Carter is taken down. Warren Sapp loses his helmet, but picks up his third sack of the season. Well, he's got to get over to the sideline and get to the equipment guy. And that's... And they're givers, and, and, and they're just two good people, two very blank people. Collins lost the ball for the moment. Gets it back, and that's Warren Sapp coming in and creating the fumble and getting the... Collins under pressure, and he gets sacked. And there's a flag down. And Warren Sapp, somebody 